Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you may be in the world. Um, it's my pleasure to take just a few minutes and to share with you a little bit of uh, the happenings at doTERRA and, and maybe some of the things that will be forthcoming here in the next uh, several weeks as we deal with this global crisis. First and foremost, uh, we recognize that people are are being impacted around the world and our hearts certainly go out to those who may have been directly impacted by this virus or who may even have lost loved ones. I'm grateful to say that uh, our employees, of which we have about 3,600 at, at, at doTERRA, um, none have been infected thus far and, and we're thankful for that. We have around uh, a total of 36 or 3,700 employees globally with doTERRA. We're grateful that thus far we're not aware of any of them being infected by this virus. Um, we are grateful to have products as well that bless our lives and, and help us in so many ways in times of crises like this. You know, we wanted, I wanted to take just a minute and address another question that I've started to see appear. Um, people ask, uh, how viable is doTERRA? And what does our future look like? And, are you going to be able to continue to deliver products? Are you going to be able to continue to uh, manufacture products? Do we have enough essential oils? Um, how do we look from a financial standpoint? Just to summarize very, very quickly, um, from a financial perspective, doTERRA is probably one of the most conservative and solid companies that you'll find. We've been preparing for this sort of a crisis or any other sort of an event for many years. And, uh, and we are prepared to absorb um, different kinds of trials and difficulties that might come from something like this. I'll add, though, that uh, I feel very fortunate that because of the industry we're in, because of the products that we have, perhaps doTERRA has not been negatively impacted by this global event in, in any way uh, from a financial standpoint. Um, we are grateful for all of you and for the way that you continue to serve one another. Addressing our supply of essential oils. I think as all of you know, or many of you know, we have a most remarkable supply chain employing upwards of 160,000 people around the world in the growing, um, producing, and distilling of our essential oils in various countries. Uh, we feel a huge commitment to these people as well. But fortunately, we are not slowing at all. We have a significant supply of essential oils that we've been building over the years. And so we don't foresee any shortage in manufacturing or any shortage or ability to send you these products. As many of you are aware, doTERRA has a very powerful culture as well. This culture involves a number of things. It involves how we treat one another. It's built around building people and supporting people and growing people as well. Um, we hope as we go through this crisis together that you will remember those around you. Remember to be kind, um, to be thoughtful, to be helpful. We can help in so many ways. We hope that, that you won't succumb to some of the fears that seem to be gripping many. I want you to know that at doTERRA we do not feel fearful. Uh, we feel very confident about the future. We're actually growing and we expect to continue to grow in a significant way this year and in the years to come. One of the things we did immediately when we were faced with this crisis was to develop some teams. Um, these teams have been operating in a fantastic manner. Corey Lindley oversees one of these teams that, uh, that involves people from all different parts of the, country, in the company. And they work to react and to pivot very quickly to changes that happen on a daily and sometimes even an hourly basis. Um, so thankful for how well they've been able to do. Um, also, Emily Wright and, and uh, many of our marketing people also are moving ahead and trying to produce as quickly as possible some fantastic online education. This is something you'll continue to see more and more of coming out. We've had to cancel um, almost all of our events around the world. 
and uh, we're quickly learning to be better and more effective at, uh, at doing a virtual kind of a training and education. Uh, so expect to see a lot more of this. Looking to the future, we're, as I said earlier, we feel very, very fortunate to have many of the products that we have and have the kind of a company we have where we look out for one another, to have products that are even helpful and very, very useful in this type of a crisis. As we look to the future, we think it looks very bright. Looking at our Chinese offices and market alone, we've watched them go from a complete quarantine situation to today being back at work and really business as usual in their operations. And we think that much of the world will follow this as well. Uh, we encourage everyone to follow the guidance from your local uh, governments and to seek to practice that social separation and to uh, be responsible and to help bring this virus under control as quickly as we possibly can. Um, we look forward to seeing all of you again and being able to come out to where you are to visit you uh, in your countries and in events around the world. We're so disappointed to have had to cancel so many of these, but uh, we know that you understand. And again, we're grateful for you, for your faith and for your sense of service in these difficult times. So thank you and uh, be careful.